Hello everyone, welcome to biology. This is going to be just a quick overview of how to use the cell types gizmo. So what I've done here is I've already launched the gizmo. So if you're not there yet, launch it and you're gonna see a nice landscape looking like this of a whole bunch of different things in the background. You'll also see across the top, you have different tabs to um, use. We're gonna be primarily using the landscape and the microscope tab for this one. Um, and then at the end of class, the last section or the last activity, we'll get into this test for life tab. Okay, so from the landscape, I'm just going to do a quick little um, introduction to get you guys started, figure out how to use the microscope, make sure you're good with all the different parts of it. Um, so we're going to just start with a sample. Okay, so we're going to choose um, just a sample of Elodia. I think that's what we're going to use, the Elodia leaf. Okay, so in, your, um, in the water, Elodia is a water plant. So right there is an Elodia leaf. Um, you don't know what it is until you click on it. So there you can see this is an Elodia leaf. Okay. Um, there's lots of samples hidden in here. So when you guys are doing your investigation, if you don't want to be searching for them and getting them to highlight like I have, just click this button right here and you can see them all. Okay. But for today, we're going to focus on this Elodia um, leaf. This is my sample. Um, and then we're going to look over at the microscope tab. So you always want to start on your lowest magnification. And then your coarse focus and fine focus are already adjusted here for you. For you. So then what you need to do first, and this is what you should do in all samples, because all of them will start off at 40. You start at 40 until you can get it in focus. So right here, this is not focused. I hope you don't think that's focused, okay? So you're going to slide, and you can see, oh, that actually got way less focus. And you're going to come this direction and say, oh, ooh, starting to see something. Starting to see something. It's more and more focused. Whoa, look at that sucker. So then you get here. Oh, it went back out of focus. So come back a little bit. And then you can use your fine focus. You don't have to adjust your fine focus much, like you're not going to see too much of a difference. Ooh, that got way more clear. So just kind of find out where the clearest is for you, and then you're just going to make some observations. So like, what do you see here in this thing? I see a bunch of the same shapes all interlocked together, okay? And you can also use the stage left, right. So if you were using an actual microscope, the stage left, right would literally move your sample left or right across your stage. And again, the stage is right here. So if I use that, it's literally me moving the stage left and right so that you can see different parts of the microscope. Okay. After you've got it in focus on your lowest, you always want to keep going until you get to your highest magnification because that's going to show you the most um, information for you. Okay. So then the next part is changing your magnification. So we go up to 100 for the next part. Whoa, we're starting to see some other things in here, okay? Now we're looking at a plant, so you should start to be familiar with some of the structures that you're seeing. So you can definitely see like a cell wall. Oops, I forgot to tell you, don't move coarse focus when you're already in there. You only wanna adjust the fine focus to get it so you can see better. Whoa, blurry. Okay, whoa, so I'm starting to see lots of different structures inside of this plant cell. This is awesome, okay? If I continue to go in, Going up to 400, whoa, notice how much of a difference that is. Holy smokes. Okay, way different right here. Um, and again, you can adjust fine focus. It looks pretty focused to me, but if you really want to test it out, you just slide it until you see the best picture you can see. So I think that's pretty dang clear. And if you slide it over to the right side, you can see different cells that are in this sample. Up and down, it'll show you different samples as well. So I'm going to try and get one right in the middle. And another thing you can see is that when you're zoomed in 400 times, you're at a much smaller scale. So another thing you can check on if you are interested in that is the scale bars. So this is showing you that across the middle of this structure, whatever this is, is 20 um, micrometers. Okay, so this is a micrometer. That little like U shape, that's micro and then the M is meters. So this is 20 micrometers, which is super, super, super small. What else is really cool, and you'll have to use this throughout your investigation today, is you have the show labels option. So when you get into the components of the cell, some samples will show labels for you. So you can see right here, and then you can you can actually readjust it so you can see the right one. So it has like a specific one labeled for you. So there's the one cell we want to look at. It's 20. You can see there's different components. There's a nucleus. There's a cell membrane. And you can adjust it like, oh, I want to move it up and down so I can see what they're talking about. So there's my nucleus. This is a vacuole. Um, my cell membranes right there on the outside, the cell walls right there on the outside, the chloroplasts are all these little green things. This vacuole is taking up majority of my space in here. So this is just for you guys to be able to identify. And when you continue on your lab, you will see that you will have to identify that further on. Okay? 
and hopefully you have fun with your lab today. Go back to Class Connect to watch the rest to get more information.